if you have wisdom, it may be great, like a good tree. Good tree. But that good tree will be rotten under the skin of laziness. These are the two sort of interesting examples. Even the language change, culture change, but it's a little sort of a bivet, you remember. Without enthusiasm, wisdom is like a dead body. Without enthusiasm, even you have a great wisdom, it will be rotten tree, rotten under, the, under its own skin, which is laziness. So maybe a great tree, if it's rotten underneath, what would you do? You have to get, a, get rid of it. It's no longer useful. Maybe you can use as firewood or something. Maybe. And that's about it. So that's, that, is the, um, that is the example. So the opposite mental thing of enthusiasm is laziness. <laughs> laziness, you have to like think, and the Buddhism is very interesting. They will divide and uh, divide and identify so that one can get very easily. Um, because, you know, I would really like to look here. Because why? As I said, I'm, I'm the, one of the most laziest person. So, so one of the most laziest person talking to you is not that good. So I'm going to read it here too, <laughs> honestly. So that, <laughs> so that is not only my weakness will not be tell you, but. Would that been asked one time, one time, what is the, what do you want, what do you think uh, people should not have it? And he said laziness. Or oh, why? Laziness makes you take your far, farther distance from the accomplishment of a total enlightenment. Laziness will take you from the generosity. Laziness makes you distant from the, in, the morality. Laziness will make you, you and your patience bigger distance. And a meditation distance, wisdom distance. And that's why, that in the sense, if you have laziness, you don't achieve easily. You cannot do it easily. Generosity activities, or even morality. Moralities need efforts. To be able to have a perfect morality, you need efforts. And laziness takes you away from that. That's what is all about. And also one of the great Buddha's disciples been asked, what is laziness? He replied, replied, laziness is a basis of all negative, reflective emotions. Whoever has laziness, that will not have great spiritual development at all. So, mm, so the laziness has been, now let me get that easy. Laziness made into three different uh, categories. Such as, first is addiction. 
if you are addicted on anything, and that makes you very hard to take it away from that addiction and uh, do whatever you need to do. If you are addicted to uh, uh, drugs, and the people will spend time for drug use, and uh, you do nothing. Similarly, you can get addicted to anything else, everything else. You get addicted to alcohol, we know that. We all know that. Drug and alcohol, yes, we all know that. You can get addicted to anything else. From the spiritual point of view, any activity that takes you away from uh, progressing on your spiritual path, and that is, um, you can get addicted to anyone. You can even get addicted to the spiritual path too. Not necessarily bad. Uh, but people get, some people get very addicted to compassion. Some people get very addicted to love. It's good. Nothing's wrong. If you get very addicted to attachment, it's not good. It gets you a lot of trouble. We all know. But even we all know, we can't do it because we're addicted. So, addicted to anything, whatever, and that is one of the first obstacles to be recognized, anti-enthusiasm. Oh, why? How do you deal with it? How do you deal, it, deal with it? Uh, both ways. One you can deal first choice is gentle, extremely gentle. Try to understand, try to get it, and try not to do it. People get addicted to everything, even in politics, everything. So, so gently you have to take them away, gently. People get addicted for cheating, everything. So you have to gently, very gently, first you yourself has to be gentle on you. Kind, gentle, show your understanding, listen to yourself, think about it, how much you willing to do, how much, you know, sort of you have to make a bargain with yourself. So all kinds of things. Um, you may be limited to yourself, uh, to, I don't know, certain hours for a week or certain hours for a month or year or whatever with the, with the intention of reducing it a gently way. Forcefully going is mentally as well as physically too. Mentally forceful way of going is uh, think about impermanent, think about death, think about it, what happens thereafter. So this will, this will burn your laziness a little bit. It's like putting a fire under your butt if you are thinking carefully, that mentally. Physically, here comes the big difference anyway. Uh, physically, you have to force yourself. If you have to force you, you have to force yourself. You don't want anybody else to tell you what to do. 
But you have to be good enough to know what to do. And if you can't do yourself, go to somebody else who can help you to do. And that somebody else can do it gently or forcefully, accuse you or do all kinds of things, shout at you, do all that. And in the olden times where I come from, the shout and the accusing doesn't help. And then you have, a, and then you have something else, uh, something else, you know, uh, physically spanking you at you. Oh, all of these are, you know, part of it. And particularly I mean, where I come from, old Tibet, old Tibet, I'm talking about it, old Tibet, and uh, the teachers beating the students is very often. Uh, for, in our cases today, it will be absolutely abuse, no doubt about it. But over there, at that time, with the understanding of the individual, individuals who are engaged, sometimes very helpful. Very, very helpful. Even in my case, I used to get quite a lot of those things. Those things. And particularly, um, one or two things I do remember very well. Very, very well. <laughs> and normally I have a, a, people who are living with me we call it attendants, teachers, managers, and things like that, right? So they all are there to force you. But there is an attendant. I think I mentioned a couple of times, even my own attendant, very kind person, who used to take me to the gatherings and take my rope, very nicely, looks like very respectful, pour it over and pinch you and tells you behave yourself under the <laughs> and, but with great respect and all <laughs> behave yourself. <laughs> so anybody looking at it, they say, oh it's serving very well. But you know pinching you. I used to get all these pinching marks everywhere. And uh, and I picked it up that habit. And uh, be beginning level, I used to pinch people. And uh, some friends joke with me called pinching llama. <laughs> so <laughs> so oh, that old habit transfers here even. And then I used to get other beads too. The so one day I do remember uh, one of my, I think the manager, the Chicago Sonam's uncle, not now he's in New York, right? So Sonam's uncle. And normally he just hit you like that, and that's okay. One day he he got up and did, did three prostitutions. Oh, oh, I'm in trouble, <laughs> big trouble. After the prostitutions, he grabbed me and pulled me out of my cushion and uh, then put uh, some kind of rope in my leg and put it on the beam and then pull the rope and uh, naturally a little baby, a little kid goes upside down, right? So there we do have a funny robes, the monk's robe, lower of like a skirt, pick one. So it will go on your head down like this, right? So after, under that, he has a little fire and a burning chili. <laughs> chili smoke coming. <laughs> and then he had a little rope and keep on beating me up, you know, like a, I don't know, maybe, maybe about 100 or, or over. Uh, so that was a big beat. And uh, so five, six, seven days, I couldn't ride a horse. When you have to go, you have to stand on the saddle 
up, stand up because if you sit down, it will get you wounded. So uh, things like that is a physically forced to get away from the laziness of, a, of a, some kind of addiction, whatever it was. I don't even remember what it was, <laughs> but, uh, but, but that's, our, that's our old culture. I'm not saying you have to do it. You should not do it. Should not do it. Uh, you're a civilized person. These are primitive, honestly, primitive. Uh, civilized people don't do that. But however, you're man you have to take care of that mentally, by yourself, discipline. Discipline makes you to do that. If you do not discipline, it will be very difficult to manage. So that's all I wanted to say, thank you.